This is probably the first Icelandic movie I've ever seen. And well, it set the bar fairly high because it's pretty good. It's about this single mom who's struggling quite a bit, financially, and in other ways too. And she's just trying to scrape by to take care of her kid. So right from the start, it's a compelling situation. You want her to persevere. So off to a good start. It's a really strong setup, but then it gets even better. It took a turn I did not see coming involving another woman, and their paths sort of cross in a very interesting way. It's a pretty unique situation, and from there on the movie follows both of these women, and this other woman's in a very different situation. But what's interesting is, the struggles these two face, they actually have a lot in common, and I guess that's one of the points the movie is trying to make. It doesn't really matter who we are, or where we're from. At the end of the day we're all gonna have to deal with similar issues. And the movie is also about friendship and human kindness. Sometimes we're in a position to do something for another person. And maybe it's something small, but it can make a big difference. And I guess the real gist of it is, we're all in the same boat. So maybe it's not a bad idea to stick together and help each other out. Instead of dividing ourselves into arbitrary groups of them and us. And yeah, on the surface this is a very quaint little movie. Very small in scale. There aren't any massive set pieces or well-known actors. It's just a very human story and it turned out to have a lot more substance than I expected. There's a lot of depth in this and most of it's in the subtext. You sort of have to read between the lines here. It doesn't come out and say anything outright. But the way the movie is shot also helps. I mean everything's just grey and dreary. It's cold, it's wet, it's windy. It visually tells you you wouldn't want to be in this situation. And it's one of these interesting movies that I just liked while watching it. But the more I think about it, the more layers open up. And the more I like it. I mean this is the kind of filmmaking I love. Small scale with a lot of depth. Every time I see a movie like this, I'm just reminded that you don't need a huge budget or crazy special effects to tell a great story. In fact, a lot of the time that gets in the way or tries to replace the story. But every movie starts with a story. And if it's compelling, chances are you'll have a good movie. Or at least a decent one. And if it's not, you probably won't. No matter how much money you throw at it. It's definitely something Hollywood could learn from indie movies. But it's also something other indie movies could learn from movies like this. If you want to make a movie, but don't have a story to tell, what are you even doing? What are you making a movie for? Just for the sake of it? That happens a lot too. But it does seem like these sort of movies are becoming more common. Movies with an actual story to tell. Something to say. And I'm grateful for that. These are the kind of movies I like the best. This one was actually so compelling that very few times did I even think about it being in Icelandic. I mean a few times the language is very front and center. But other than that I didn't even think about it. And that's great storytelling right there. It makes you forget you're reading subtitles. And that's pretty impressive. But yeah, would I recommend this? Absolutely, it's a great little movie. So check it out. Or don't. I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to book that trip to Iceland. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.